and red and blue and white paint on my palette and it can be cad yellow cad red ultramarine blue and white and what you can do now is take a probably a, a, a half an inch brush and you can use also you can use an inch brush and you can also use a two inch brush because 16 by 20 canvas you can use any big brush i'm going to go with the uh, the one inch brush here so um now what i'm going to do is i'm going to put a layer let's do this for something different let's put a layer of white on here first okay and as you can see that i um i already had this top painted but something happened and i had to to recoat it with all white to cover it up because i wanted to uh, to show you this video again so anyway if you it's a good thing if you make a mistake and you don't like what happened then just let your painting dry underneath and paint it back over with white okay and then just reuse it so um, that's a good way to to fix your painting so you don't have to waste any canvases. You don't want to waste canvas or paint because it's expensive. It can get a very expensive hobby. So anyway, now I'm going to take on the top here. So just put all white on top half of your canvas. I just put tape a little over halfway, my painter's tape, a little over halfway. And um, so I'm going to take some blue paint, some ultramarine blue paint. And I'm going to start at the top and put some blue paint on there. And as you can see, the white paint keeps it nice and light. All right, so you go back and forth, back and forth, long strokes. Now it'll give you a nice, soft blue sky. If you want to darken it up a bit more, just add some more ultramarine blue to your, uh, to your brush and put it on the top. Good. So then you come about halfway down because you want to leave some space for, and as you'll notice as you come down, it, it starts to lighten up for you. So you need more blue paint, you need more blue paint, but start at the top, don't start in the middle somewhere, start at the top and work your way down, okay? That way you get to keep your nice dark blue top, and as you come down, it'll lighten up for you. So don't forget, you have white underneath your paint there now so you don't have to worry about it it's just already on there for you and, you have, and acrylics dry fast so you have to work fast so you can go back and forth and go right up into your blue again work your way down it's okay we can darken a little bit of that up there after if you want it a bit darker it depends on how you want your sky if you want dark or light so let's just leave it at that and as we come down let's clean our brush really good and let's add some yellow because that's already white on there and we're going to clean our brush really good so there's no paint on it and uh, put some yellow cad yellow on your brush and a little bit of red a little tiny bit of red okay not too much because red is very very strong now let's start um at the bottom here and we'll work our way up into the blue now yellow and blue makes green so when we get to the top here we'll just uh Go underneath the blue, back and forth, long strokes. Good, see how pretty that is? Now I want to redden it up a little bit at the top and that way it won't turn green because you'll have more red. So let's get some red up here. A little bit of red, a little bit of yellow, a little bit of red, a little bit more red. You already have some white and some yellow on there. Good. You can go right up into your blue now, so it all blends really pretty. And then you can come on down again. There we go. See how nice that's turning out? So let's make a little bit of a pink, pink color with some white and red and put that in there. Start at the top and work your way down. There we go. See, they get a nice little sunset. Now your sunset, if you look at sunsets, it seems like the most of red is at the bottom. I'll have to check that out. But uh, we don't want too much uh, red down there. So I'm going to put some white and some yellows. So white, yellow, and red, it'll work. And you put it wherever you, you feel that the... You can look at some sunsets and see where the red is the most and where the yellow is the most. And then you can put the, that most of that in at the bottom or at the top. So that's a nice little, little sky. So I think 
that um, that sky is I mean it's not exactly the same as the other one but we want it so that it's close to it so there we go so let's do um, what we can do now is um, probably uh, that hill that's there good so let's do the hill so let's get um let's get a, a bristle brush probably a small bit of bristle brush maybe a size two or three just a small just so that you can work with it and just get um some brown paint is good Get a brown paint is fine but we just want to draw the shape out first okay so let's just draw the shape out first put some brown paint on your brush and figure out where you want your heel and just take a line over here and bring it over and down or wherever you want it and bring it over make some humps maybe come down a little bit okay so then you can start filling it in with some brown paint and your paint underneath is going to be wet and that's fine that's okay we just want to get a shape there and we can always fill it in with darks and lights after don't forget to do your sides okay do your sides so let's just get something going there so we can get some shapes good all right, so we're going to get that because now if you prefer, you can wait for that paint to dry so you don't have to put on layers and layers of paint to get the colors you're looking for. But I'm going ahead because I'm doing the video and I don't want to delay. I want to get it done for you because I've been re getting requests for this painting for a few months. I was uh, gone all summer to uh, Alberta and I... Um, and I just got back not long ago, so now I want to dig right into doing some videos for you and have some fun. So because this is a bigger canvas, I'm making my heels a little bigger. You don't have to have them that big if you don't want to, but for the video, I'd like to show you. So let's just fill in this up here. See how nice and dark that is? And you can uh, shape it up whatever way you want now that you're doing your second coat. And just fill that in with your dark color. And then we'll put some highlights on it after. So mix some burnt umber and blue, <clears throat> maybe a little bit of red to darken up even more, as you can see how dark it got. We're going to bring that right down in front of these mountains and hills here. So we'll just bring it out wherever you want it to, wherever you want to bring it out. Okay, so keep going with your paint. Good. Now we'll just fill that in. Just I'm just using a, a, a small bristle brush and the, the, to get it on. And I like using bristle because I can scrub it in. See how I can scrub it in. See? And when you scrub it in like that, you get some little shapes. You'll get some, you'll, you'll start shaping up your, your hill without even, or your mountain without even trying. It'll just, now you still have your tape on, okay? And uh, if you got the wraparound canvas, you can do the sides. If you have the uh, stretch canvas, this is a 16 by 20 stretch canvas. <clears throat> Sorry about my my throat. Okay, so let's scrape this on here. Scratch it on, scrub it on, and yeah, as you're doing that, you're you're getting um, you're getting some. I'm just going to come right out here just so I can put that in front. But you'll see that you're getting, as you're scrubbing it, you're getting some shapes already started to give you a, give you a head start. Now, so we'll clean our brush and we'll start on those hills behind. And those hills have kind of a, a bluish, purplish color because they're in the background, so you, you want to make them look far away. When you make them look far away, then you get a purplish color and you add a bit of white to it to brighten it up. It's nice and bright. You want to go really bright because they're far away. So the brighter they are, the further they are away. So let's just put some of that there. If it's too blue, we'll add a bit more red to purple it up a little bit. There we go. More white. We want it nice and bright in the back there nice and bright there we go 
So we'll just say that they're behind that hill there. So we'll put in those. And we'll add more white because they look really, really purple. We don't want them to be purple, purple. I want them to be bright. There we go. That's it. Nice and bright in the background. And just shape them up the best way you want them. Good. So that's your background hills. They're further away. So the brighter they are, the further away they are. Just just scrub on that paint there so you don't have to worry about it. Right now, this is all you have to do is scrub it on. Scrub, 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 scrub. Have some fun. Just scrub it on and have some fun. Good. Now, all you want to do is probably bring some of the darker purplish color with a little bit of, maybe we'll add a little bit of brown to it. A little bit of brown would be nice. Yes, and then we can add some of that darker color underneath. Just add it basically over what you already did and leave the tops a little bit lighter. All right, so then we'll that make it look like if we get a darker color here in the front, that will, if you just add some of that darker color we used earlier or some brown to that purplish color and it darkens up, then you can make hills in front of hills, but yet they're still further away than that big dark one there. So we'll just make some hills. Just have some fun. Good. So that's all we have. Some. And see how fast you can do it? Just put it on and away you go. Good. Those will just play with those. You can you can do that if you want, or you can just leave it one hill, one big hill. And get your shapes that you want. Good. And now what we're going to do, is we're going to say the sun is coming from the right. And if the sun is coming from the right, then the light is going to be shining on top of here somewhere. And then probably on these sides of the hills and the back sides will be in shade. So we'll use some of that darker color. So you had your light purplish color. Add a bit of um, uh, probably a bit of brown or the dark mountain color. And then just take your brush and dra find the top of the hill and make a little curvy line down the center of those hills just so you get an idea where you want to put your shadows okay so let's just go back here back 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 diagonal to the left back and we'll just make some shapes back we go there we go and then we'll just make some shadows just by scraping on now just take our brush and go on the top of those hills and scrub on some color There we go. So just make some nice colors and shadows. And the back. Just bring down some shadows in the back. There we go. Shadow, shadow. So that's all you have to do is just put some shadows on the left side of those hills. And if you need those lines, those little squiggly lines, you can go ahead and do that. I, I had another video there that helps make your heels. And that's it. So um, we'll keep the, um, we'll go back over those hills later because I just want to get to the wave. Those hills need a lot of work yet, okay? So you might want to add another one in the center here because we don't want it to look like two big old bumps sticking up there like that. We want to make different shapes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave those hills for now because there's a lot of work to do with those and I don't want to spend all, I don't want to spend a lot of time on the hills right now. Um, so I'm just going to leave that for now and let's work on the water. So let's take our tape off. Now, because I left my tape on a long time, 
for two or three days because I was so busy with other things and that's why I didn't get the video uploaded. The tape was left on for set for two or three days and as you can see the tape so this is a good lesson for you guys don't leave your tape on for more than two or three days and if you're waiting for me to come back after a couple of days and I didn't tell you to take your tape off maybe you're better off taking your tape off okay so that's a, le a lesson in itself right there I'm just going to put a little highlight up here and on here and on here just on the top of the mountains for now just for now I'm not doing very much with those hills because like I said I got a lot of things I want to do with those hills and I, that may be another lesson right now we just want to get to this uh, nice big to the nice big wave so first of all we have to decide where we want to uh, and we want to start our beach so we want to get a what we what you can do is get some chalk or just get a, a brush and any brush just a flat bristle brush and take some paint it can be uh, blue is fine for now and just draw a line across here just so that you can decide where you want your beach and where you want your water to end okay so just to get an idea that's all so now get your fan brush I have a fan brush and it's a, a medium size it's probably a size 10 and then you can wet your fan brush and you're going to get some blue paint and also some green paint and then you're going to put the water in some blue and some green okay and then we're going to put our water in and then we're going to start our wave whether it's this lesson or the next one so let's just go we got some all i did was tap into some blue I tap into some green blue and green on my brush and i'm going back and forth now when you go on the palette the palette will mix the colors together for you okay so there we go back and forth so you get this really nice green bluish color so i'm just going around the sides and back and forth so like i said don't worry about the hills right now just get them i just want to get them uh, maybe for another uh video because there's a lot of work uh, to those hills but i want to concentrate i want to get you guys started on the wave and then maybe in an, i'll i'll go back to those hills in the last video and we can work on those that way if you want to you can work on if you don't want to you don't have to so we leave that to the last so the blue and green so i'm just putting blue and green on my fan brush and i am filling up this space i'm going back and forth my brush is horizontal and my strokes are horizontal okay see how nice that's coming up the nice blues and greens are coming out nice good so keep going back and forth back and forth blue and green blue and green there we go blue and green so you keep going back and forth till you get your water all finished and like i said there's a lot of a lot of work to be done with this painting so i'll do my best to get to the wave and then once we get to the wave then everything else is pretty simple but getting to the wave is the part that we need to uh, concentrate on so here we are with our water I could have did the water and just go right into the wave, but I just thought, you know, it's nice for you to be able to see what I do rather than skip or jump ahead or fast forward or, you know, do it in the fast mode and stuff like that. I'd rather, because you can always fast forward me. You can always put me ahead. You know, you put me on pause. You can turn the volume down so you don't have to listen to me talk. <laughs> right? So that's why I don't mind doing these videos uh, in real time because then you can make a decision if you want to speed me up or move ahead so let's go with the blue and a green yep blue and green you can also add a little bit of yellow to it if you like I'll show you now if you want me to so I'm putting more blue and more green on my palette and I'll even put a little bit of yellow on there because the yellow will turn to blue green anyway so so we'll get this on for you some yellow 
on our palette. And then we will add that to our we'll add that to our blue and our green just to see out of curiosity how that works out for us. I like to experiment with different colors, okay? So I'm just trying some yellow. So let's go with blue and some yellow and some green. Just see how that looks. See? Doesn't do a big lot of difference. It just turns the blue green. You can even just use blue and yellow. See what happens there. Blue and yellow. See? And it turns it into a, a bit of a lighter green. And you get some nice light yellowy. Just shirt. pretend that that's a line. So take a piece of chalk and take your chalk and figure out where you want your wave. Okay, so uh, let's pick a spot. So let's just pick right here. And we'll bring the wave, the, the chalk line, okay? The chalk line goes up as far as you want it to go. So we want to go way, 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 way up here and down and down and oops and up and over. So that will help you get a wave started. Okay, and you're like, how does that work? So what you're going to do is you're going to have your blue. So we're going with the same palette because we've been continuing from the other lessons. So um, I got the uh, blue and the white. We need white. I think we need more white. Okay, so we just got some white. And we have uh, red and yellow and green. And, and so these are colors that you should have on your palette when you're working on your wave. But right now all we need is a bristle brush, okay? Nothing too big, just probably a medium size bristle brush about this big to get us started, okay? And then you're going to dip into some blue paint, some ultramarine blue with a bit of white. We, we want to have the shadow color on first, so it's going to be mostly blue, okay? So I just filled up the top here, and tap over that line that you just made. Just tap, 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 Yes, don't forget our tapping. Tap, 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 tap. There we go, see? We're getting a wave started already. So tap, 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 tap. Make sure you got some blue on there, because we want to use that as our shadow. Okay, and tap, 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 all the way over. So don't go rubbing it on or anything like that. You have to tap, and I'll tell you why. You have to tap in order to make those, those colors separate. See? So you put a bit of white on there, and as you tap, the colors will separate. So you don't want to go over the same area constantly. You just get a blob. But if you move, and you tap, 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 you will get... A nice start of a wave. Okay, there's your start. So you can tap back over it again, but just uh, you don't want to tap away all the color into just one blue. Okay, so that's that much. So that's a start. Now it's not exactly like the other one, but I don't. If you make your line, whatever way you make your line, whatever, whatever you want to shape. The type of shape of wave you want, you just go ahead and make that shape. There's no right or wrong. You just make the kind of wave you want. Now I'm just tapping into only white this time. My brush is dirty. And I'm going to tap on top of what I just did. On top, but leave the bottom, okay? Leave the bottom and just tap on top of what you just did. Tap, 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 tap. And now you're getting some nice foam on the top of that, but yet you still got your shadows on the bottom. See? So see how nice that is? So now you tap, just white, dirty brush, tap, 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 just on the top, on the top only. Leave the bottom for your shadow. And your this is wet paint, so your white is going to pick up still some more blues and give you some more shadows. Okay, so pick up only white, but when you tap on here, if the paint is still wet, it'll pick up your blues underneath. So you, it'd be nice if you could work, if you could work it uh, while it's wet, work everything wet on wet. When you come to the wave, and then tap on top again, tap, 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 and then blend it in here. Good. So that's, uh, now what you want to do now is to make it nice and softer looking. 
you're going to clean off your brush just wipe it off in your tissue no need to uh, put in water or anything just wipe it off in your tissue and then then you tap at it again underneath where the shadow is and where what you just tapped on there meet just tap underneath there and now bring those two lines together tap 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 don't don't rub don't uh, don't scrub at it or anything like that. Just tap it on. Tap, 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 tap. There we go. Tap, tap, tap. All the way across. And that will bring it all together and give it a nice... Now, we're going to add actually a bit more white to that after, okay? But right now, we'll just leave it like that for now. And what I'm going to get you to do while we're waiting for that to dry a little bit, we're going to put a line across here. I believe I showed you this before. Um, actually, no. Actually, let's put the beach on because if we put that line on and we try to get the beach on, it probably uh, won't work. It'll be harder to work with. So you got some brown on your palette, okay? So you got some brown on your palette and some yellow and white. So brown and yellow and white and a flat bristle brush. I love working with bristle because it helps me spread the paint better, okay? And then, so, take some brown, this is a, a half inch, some brown and some yellow, and that make a really nice sandy color, okay? And a little bit of white if you want to brighten it up a bit. Oh, got it? All right, so let's put that underneath here for your beach. So, let's get lots of it on there. You're going to need lots of paint because you've got a lot of the bottom there to work with. And it's good to get separate colors. See that? You get some darks and lights. That's okay because, because um, you get some shadows. All right, so just go up to the green. To the green, there we go. Good. Now, keep doing your beach section. Even if you just wanna add brown and white this time to give it a, a different shade. See, so you get different shades, and that's kind of nice because you know what beaches are like. There's all kinds of shadows going on and dips and all kinds of stuff. So have all different colors. Don't be, don't worry about it. To have your, uh, you wouldn't want to add green or anything to it, but let's try it anyway. So you got brown, a little bit of green, a little bit of yellow. Let's experiment. It's always fun try different things and let's try that oh that's a nice bit of darkness there and a bit of a shadow good so you just go over what you did and try not to make it all one color if possible just just put it on so that the paint you get some lights and some darks what else can we try some brown some green maybe a little bit of red a bit of yellow. I just thought I'd experiment with you because um, I've been teaching, you see all my lessons and I don't do anything uh, different or new. So sometimes I like to throw in a few things that I might experiment with. So there we go. See how nice that color is too? And it's a nice shadow. You can even bring some of that shadow color over into here if you want. Good. I might be able to just sit, probably do a video someday on just one section. And um, that way I will be able to show you, you know, say we do a beach scene, then I can show you how to put little pebbles on there and shadows and, and dips and all kinds of different things. But you'd only work on that one section and that way we take our time and, and do it really good. I'd be able to explain it in more detail. Right now, this, is, this painting is about a wave and I'm just trying to get this beach on here so we can get our wave. So we can get our wave on there. And what I'll do is, we get this beach finished. I'm just going to throw some white in here. Look, see? You just throw it on at the paint on as the other paint is already on there. The dark paint's already on there. You can just throw in some white. You can throw in some yellow. Look, just experiment and play with the colors. They're fun. That's what makes it fun. You just throw it on there. Throw it on. All right, we'll keep that beach as it is, and we'll probably put some darker colors in the corners here. Just to, if you got a paint, <coughs> excuse me, if you got a painting and you put some darks in the color in the corners, like say we put some more darks up here and we put these darks here, then what will happen is 
um, you'll have those shadows and it'll make your eye focus on the center of your painting. Now, so what I want to tell you to do next is I want you to take, let's try a fan brush. You can do it with a flat brush too. You don't have to do it with just a fan brush, okay? You can do this. What I'm going to do is this here, this, this line of paint right here, okay? So we'll try that. It's not going to look exactly like that yet because we're only going to do the basics first. So what you're going to do is get some white paint, pure white paint, and just white paint only. And then you fill up your brush so that all the bristles come together. Sometimes they're open. So you can just fill up your brush and it'll bring them together. You just pull through the paint like this. I just wiggled it a bit just to, to get it to bring all the brushes, the bristles together. Now, this might be a little tricky, but let's let's try it anyway. Now, I'm, I'm left-handed, so you might want to start over here. Sometimes I start over here, but I'll start over here for you. So I'm just going to touch, and I'm going to push, and I'm going to pull, and I'm not going to stop. I'm going to keep going because if I stop, I might lose where I want it to be. I might lose momentum. <laughs> so, okay, so now I did that. And if you need to go over it again, you can do that. Just touch, push, and pull. Pull, 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 pull. Pull, pull, pull. I'm running out of paint over here, so I'm just going to grab a piece over here. So I just have a small bristle brush, just a small, very hard brush. And I'm going to put some yellow on my palette, a little tiny bit of green, and some white. And I'm going to, I should get another palette, shouldn't I? <laughs> and I'm going to, so that a little bit on the green side there is fine. Be on the yellow side or the green side. Now we have a lot of paint on there. We don't want all that paint. So what we're going to do is we're going to wipe it off. It's better to have not enough than too much. Okay, so really scrub it off in there. Just get rid of it. Okay, make sure. And let's see how much is left on there now. So now you take that what's left on it and scrub circles. If you guys did my videos on mist, it's basically the same thing dry brushing. So there we have a nice, and we just scrub that right into the water. So that's a good start. There we go. It's a good start. So now we have that there. So that's fine. So that's the eye. So that's fine because we got a lot of work to do yet. So now what we're going to do is we have that there and we're going to go back in and we're going to play with the water. So you can go ahead and get your fan brush again. So get a fan brush. Uh, you don't have to have a big fan brush. You can have a smaller fan brush. If you don't like fan brushes, you can use a flat chiseled edge brush. Okay. So I'm just going to use my fan brush. And it's a bigger one than usual, what I usually have. Because my canvas is fairly big here. So I'm just going to use the same colors we used before. Some green and some blue. Green and blue, okay? And now we're going to, we don't want to lose that now, but we do want to get start some water again. So just go back and forth as if you're doing your water again, but this time you're going to bring some water underneath the wave down. You're going to start pulling down the water. Touch and pull, touch and pull. Make a little curve on it. And uh, so this is going to be a little bit harder. So we're going to turn here, turn your brush actually this way. So it'll be like this and then come over to the canvas, come up under the wave and start pulling down these lines. Get some blue paint because we don't want it all green. So we'll go with some blue paint and pull them down like this. Just pull, pull and sort of bring them over to the right. So you curve until you start at the top and curve to the right top curve to the right underneath the wave that you just did all right so let's try that hopefully I can make this easy for you because these waves are a little bit a little bit hard but if I could get some easy techniques for you then maybe you'll be encouraged to try one 
So let's just go down, 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 right up under the wave and down into the water. So when you come down to the flat part of the water, then you just go back and forth as if you're just doing the water. But can you see, can you see that the waves are starting to come down? Maybe not because because it's a light shining on it and it's it's wet. But back here you should be able to see it. Or I'll look at this one here. And this is what we're trying to accomplish right here. Okay, so let's get those strokes down. Going to the right and then we'll add some little white lines on top to, uh, to make it look like there's some foam. Okay, so that's your main thing right now is the blue and green. Start underneath the wave. Start underneath the wave. Underneath. And pull to the pull to down and curve and there's your flat water down here okay and underneath the wave and pull underneath the wave and pull good so get you a little closer all right yeah where there's a uh, uh, light on there I'm afraid you might be able to see it, but let's do our best. So pull, pull, and around. This is just a little curvy lines. Touch under the wave and pull to the right. Pull down to the right. Down to the right. Can you see it? Let me see if the shadow's in the way. Let's see. It looks a little watery there with the light shining on it. Maybe I can take that light off. Let's see if that helps. It's a bit better. Okay, so I want to show you um, how I did, how I'm doing that wave. So what I'm doing is I'm showing you the stroke. Let's see. Watch. So I'm just taking my brush and pretend that uh, then you take the brush you go up under the wave oops sorry you go up under the wave and then you pull as, as you're making it like a, a, a smile but this way so it's like a C like you're gonna make the letter C and then you pull straight over into the water so you pull down your letter C's as if you make letter C's or as long as you start under the wave and then you pull to the right, if your wave is going that way, okay? If it's going the other way, it would just be the opposite. So just touch and pull, touch, curve, pull straight over. I hope that helps a little bit. Okay, so let's continue on. So we'll go with the blue and the green. And if you want... I might add a bit of white to it so you can see what I'm doing, okay? So I'm going to go down, 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 down. So there we go. Maybe you can see that a little better. So I'm just going up under the wave and I'm pulling and making a curve. And then I'm coming on top of the water here. And you might have to go over that several times. Don't make one stroke. Go over it several times. Go back and forth with different color, with uh, the blues and the greens bit of white now as for that way we don't want to lose that nice light that we made there so come underneath that to keep it there okay so come underneath that we don't want to lose it we will go back up after so we'll go back into the top of this wave under here so we'll skip over it we'll say we'll say we'll skip over it for now right and then we'll go over here and go back into the water to the flat part of the water Okay, so we need more blue, green, there we go. So we're still curving, we're still going into the water here on the bottom of the, beat, on the, 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 bottom of the water. And what we're going to do to get it a little more natural up here is get this much done first. Back and forth. And um, I'm going to take some more green, add that in there. See how I'm going back and forth with the different colors? 
Now I'm going to go up into that there but with whatever ever is left over on my brush because I don't want to lose that. But I still want to go up, you know, so that it looks like it's all part of the one wave. There we go. That's kind of a big wave. I tried to make it a bit big so you could see what I was doing and um, it could be possibly a little too big. But uh, it's a good practice. You can use this as a practice and then do the real thing when you get, you know, if you, you can get it the way you want it. And then, so I'm not going to put a, one in there because I'm going to make that thicker. So we're just going to drag some water lines down. Add a little bit of white so those water lines show up. All right. Now just curve them down and around. There we go. Down and around, go on top of the beach. Good. Good, good, good. So that kind of makes it look like, you know, the water is, uh, is coming off. Let's put in some lines, uh, white a bit, add a bit of white now to, to your blues and greens, bring them down. Now you look at some videos and they do very beautiful detailing on waves. And you know, even if, uh, even if you got this part, but you need to work on you know underneath the wave and get the way the waves because there's a lot of these little lines that go in there which I may be able to get in for you a little later so now we're going to bring the water up here a little bit we don't want that to be so huge that it, you know it looks we want to make it look nice and watery so we'll just keep putting water in down here and then like I say it's a it's a kind of a little hard to teach and it's a little hard to actually these waves are a little hard to, to get but you know there are some uh, some videos out there that um, uh, show you how to do some really nice waves so you if this one is just a basic way to get it started okay and then you can move on to other videos to help you get it even better again all right so i'm trying to get some water in here so that we can make it look like it's a, a nice big wave but yet not so big that it's you know overpowering everything so we'll just take some water bring it back from that white line that you made okay and then as you're getting back just you can still bring up lines just pull back and forth and up back and forth and up back and forth and up okay and so i'm using some white and some blue a little bit of green so back and forth watch your white oops watch your white i messed it up okay so up so back and forth back and forth little little x strokes if you want to and this is the part that's trying to get getting the the water and the wave to look uh, all in your fan brush you just scrape it off I'm, I'm when i'm using when i'm doing water i usually use fan brush so and then i might put a few little waves here i'm just using some white paint because some of the blue is still wet i'm just throwing in a few little waves just wiggling my brush around okay just wiggling my brush around i'm not going to spend too much time at this but just wiggle your brush around and go up and down just drag your brush up with whatever paint is left on just so it looks like maybe there's there we go just a little bit here because the water is pretty it's pretty high up and it's going to come in it's going to have some waves on it and if they're too thick and you don't like them just get rid of them by just putting in some more green and blue paint just go back to the color okay so you you play with that until you get the way you look for it like i said look at some pictures Look at some pictures of waves and water, big waves. But now that you know that you go, you, you tap, 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 and you can draw your wave up first and things like that. So that'll at least get you started, okay? And then you can go from there. So I found sometimes I really need to start very simple, and then 
after a while then I realized okay now I can go to some harder videos some videos and I, I check out three four five six videos and I have a look at them to see what kind of different techniques they're using so I'm going to tap on top of this wave one more time just so that we can brighten it up again so I'm just using my bristle brush a small bristle brush pure white okay pure pure white a clean, a white on, on a, a, a clean brush and I'm going on the very top of that wave okay the very very top and as you can see I lost a bit of blue there so just go on the very very top hang on just the very very top to brighten it up okay now because the bottom the blue on the bottom is dry we'll have to put some blue back in there okay so let's just go on the top see and the more layers you put on the thicker it gets it looks really cool so there we go so tap 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 good now clean off your brush and now this time get a bit of white and a little bit of blue because we probably we want it to all look natural so you got some white and blue okay and underneath what you just did with the white just tap again tap it so it all comes together but you still got your shadows on the bottom okay because we don't want to lose those shadows we want to keep some shadows so we need to get more blue go ahead and put in more blue on the bottom and then come up into what you just tapped into so it all goes together all right so just tap what you just did down into the blue there we go underneath there we got some blues so there's a you'll notice there's a line if you tap down while it was dry there's a line and you don't want that line you want it to all look like it's part of each other okay so that's all just tap it all so it's all part of each other good so we have a little shadow underneath here so underneath there we got um, a little shadow so we don't want to lose our shadow so just get some blue and just put a bit of blue underneath there just tap it on if you need to okay we may not need to but we want to put a little bit of shadow underneath there so it all looks like it's all part of the one water so let's go underneath here i'm just going under the very bottom line here just give it a shadow good that's all just so that it all blends together and it all looks like it's one because it, you don't want the wave to look like it's separated from everything it, it won't look natural so i'm going to take my fan brush and i'm going to clean up that edge yeah i'm going to clean up that edge we'll get a smaller fa fan brush this time if you have one and just clean up the edge by going underneath here just pulling if it's still wet just pull it down into the water it's just to make it all look like it's all part of the water you can even scrub it if you want to just to clean up that edge we just want to clean it up so it all looks like it's one see the waves but now that's good because you don't need to do too much because the wave the water splashes everywhere doesn't it that's not too bad that's okay well let's leave that now i think we're okay um if you have any adjusting to do you go ahead and make some adjustments and because um, i'm doing a video I, I can see things that i would like to adjust but i don't want to take up too much of your time so um let's see all right so now you take a picture of this painting here so that you can you know take a picture of it so you can you can have something to go by if you don't want to watch the video just, so hopefully you can see that there we go so you go ahead and take a picture of that and what I'll do next is I am going to I want to show you how to put this water coming up over the beach okay see water coming up over the beach and you can see the beach through it 
So underneath this wave here, there's a shadow, okay? There's a shadow underneath the wave, see right here? And that makes it look like the foam is coming in over the beach and it's lifted up a little bit. So just get your fan brush, your small fan brush, your small fan brush, and, and then you can take your small fan brush and you can still put your green and blue because it's still part of the water. So a bit of green, a bit of blue. And underneath here, if you need to use a liner brush, you can also use a liner brush, okay? But it's underneath that wave. Underneath the wave. Okay, underneath the wave. Just make this line. And I'm, I'm thinking probably a liner brush might be better and easier to control. Let's see, there's, see how that made it too thick? So let's try a liner brush. Let's try a nice long liner brush. See how we're experimenting together? And you can see that, uh, you know, it's fun to experiment. This is why I like to do my videos raw. I like to have them raw. I like you to see me making mistakes. And I like for you to see me struggle. Because then you know that you're not the only one. And, and you see a lot of these videos. And, the artists look like they're it's so easy, you know, but uh, there's a bit of a struggle, you know, you have to concentrate. So there's your little line, it should be a little thinner than that, so try to make it as thin as you can. And this is the when you go back and forth. So say if I did this, now I'm not, like I said, I'm not going to spend all my time on the video, because I want to do other videos for you. Um, I would adjust, I would make adjustments constantly. This, this uh, painting has taken me a couple hours and videotaping it. And, and, but if I were doing this um, and trying to get it so perfect, then I'd probably take a few days, probably eight hours a day, maybe, maybe more. Depends, it could take a couple of months to do a video. Uh, I'm sorry, a painting. It could take you months. Depending on how much work you want to put into it. And that's why when you see some artists uh, selling their paintings and they're the most beautiful paintings, you say, I don't know how they did it. Well, they spent many, many months adjusting and making things perfect. Okay, so that's that. And now what we're going to do is we're going to make those water lines. So get your fan brush again. Get your fan brush again, the big one or your small one, doesn't matter, okay? And then you're going to, oh, sorry, knocked over my chair. All right, so now, uh, yes, these videos are a little hard to make. I'm doing my best. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to get some white on my, on my uh, brush and a little tiny bit of blue. I don't want it too white. I just want a little bit of a, a bluish color to it. And then what this bit of paint, I'm going to scrub. Remember how we did a nice little line going across here? We'll do a small one around here somewhere. Just do another touch and pull. See? And just sort of, you don't want too much paint because it'll look like it's uh, too light. And then I'm just going to, whatever's left over on my brush, I'm just going to touch and pull and touch and pull and not let too much paint come off my brush. And then you see some water lines. Looks like I had a bit of blue paint down there, so I'll just go over it, all right? So there we go. So just a bit of blue, uh, I'm sorry, a bit of paint coming off on your, there we go. Maybe it's a little bit over here, maybe here a little bit. Whoops, that's a bit too much. It's okay, we can always get rid of that. So that's it for there. And... You can put a big old rock over here if you want to. I might do that later. But I'm going to finish this video up today. Finish it up for you. And um, that way then you can work on the big wave and things. And if I decide to add more to it, I will. But you can basically... Um, yeah, what I'll probably do is do another lesson later. And so that you can see this big wave now and, and work on that. And maybe later in another lesson or two, I will finish a rock here. And I'll work on this rock and these hills back here. So I think for now, we'll just work on this. 
So we don't see another video for a little while. I might even put up some more videos of other things. But um, yeah, I'll, I'll do my best to get it all completely finished for you. So just scrub on or rub on some of the paint so it looks like there's some water coming up on the beach. Right? And then take that line, the same as you did here, and pull it over the beach. Soften it up. Just to soften it up. So just take those lines and soften them up by pulling back. Pulling back as if you're pulling back into the water. There we go. Soften them up. Pull them back into the water as if you're going back into the water. There we go. And if you do that and you don't like it and something doesn't look right, go back to your beach color and take them out and then do it again. Okay? So, like I say, look at the uh, look at the picture and um, use that as a guide. And hopefully, the few things that I taught you will help you. Like I said, make your wave probably a bit smaller than that because there's a lot to work on. And uh, let me see your paintings when you get it done. And if you want me to do this rock over here. This, if you want me to finish, I will finish it for you, but um, this rock and I'll finish uh, the back here and uh, put, you can put in some little birds yourself. And, uh, I'll, I can finish this little rock here and these little rocks probably in another video or so later down the road. So let's say that this is finished. Um, there's lots of adjustments that can be made, but I want to move on to some other videos for you. These are just basic techniques for you know to help you get started. And if you have any questions, just email me or uh, Allison Pryor at yahoo.com or go to my Facebook page or whatever you want to do and subscribe and give me some likes and because uh, I like you too. So have a great day and I'll see you uh, in the next video uh, request. I think it might be a seagull. I'm not sure. I'll go through my request and see what's, what I'm going to do next for you. Have a great day from Alison Pryor. Happy painting.